Hey everyone, Vajosevich here. In this video, we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at the value from the limited time offer, Mammoth Bundle, which celebrates the year of the Mammoth in Hearthstone with giving us effectively a 50% discount on 10 packs of Ungoro, Frozen Throne, and Kobold's expansion. And if we just want to look on the surface, this is basically a 50% Reduction in cost, if you were to buy 15 packs, that's roughly costing you $25. I'm in Canadian. And if you're going to buy this Mammoth bundle, that also costs us 25 Canadian. Uh, but we're getting 30 packs instead. So we're going to go ahead and purchase that right now. Obviously, we're going to use our Blizzard balance. Because we have a whole bunch of that. And let's edit that out so we can look like we're very smooth in a fully edited video. So we bought this. This is limited time offer. We can go back into the shop actually. And it's grayed out now, so we're not able to buy it. So this is one mammoth bundle per Blizzard account. And one of the things that we need to actually look at, we're going to go ahead and do this in reverse order, most recent to least recent. And go ahead and look at our RNG for the day since we weren't able to stream today. We're kind of substituting a little streaming with pack opening of the highly valuable variety. So two basically very generic packs, nothing really to talk about there. But one of the things that I do want to talk about this bundle versus buying some sort of other packs is because on the surface, this looks like very good value for 30 packs. Hey, there's an epic. That actually makes us very happy. If nothing else, we just got 100 dust. It's also really good to get this bundle because there is the chance that we can get some of the nerfed cards which we can then disenchant for extra value and extra dust which we will do instantly and we're actually looking at some a couple goldens already and a couple epics so that makes us very happy in terms of dust i dust all goldens if you're not familiar with my crafting schedule i keep very actually i should i should qualify that i keep very very few goldens there are actually a few goldens that i'm very very happy about having and very happy about keeping we're almost done our first set of packs and as we get into our next one we're going to talk about why this is good value from blizzard that they're giving us right now but why it's not the guarant nearly guaranteed legendary and you know with all the epics that we're getting i'm not even concerned about not as concerned i should say about legendaries so as we know in hearthstone they have the pity timer but the pity timer is at 40 packs of a given type and so on the surface, this looks like, oh, 30 packs for 50% discount of cost. That's great. We're almost guaranteed a legendary. But in fact, I know that I stopped opening Ungoro packs and Cobalt's packs after a very recent legendary. So I know that my pity timer is nearly at its maximum of 40 packs. So these actually, the, all these epics, I think I've lost track. That's four now and two or three goldens is actually still very good but my pity timer and maybe yours as well is going to actually be a little bit a little bit lower than you know on the surface of nearly one legendary guaranteed right now for me at least i think this is very very unlikely that we're going to be able to pick up a legendary here at all although obviously there is that chance you just get to roll the dice every time you open a pack and maybe you get to pick one up so far no luck but honestly all the epics has really made this worthwhile for us so far and we continue to go through a lot of these are the very generic you know one one rare the rest are commons and that's fine i'll take my 40 dust i have a lot of the all these commons are effectively just instant disenchants and that's not there's nothing wrong with getting a whole bunch of dust every once in a while and another golden rare that's a, that's going to be a bit more dust so that's a very nice for us and we'll gladly take that double epics so that's either five or six epics we don't have meat wagons maybe we can have some fun with meat wagon and now we're going into everyone's favorite expansion my favorite expansion of the year of the mammoth was definitely on goro and not only because oh this is actually hey these are cards that well three of those five cards actually got played so that's really cool too on goro is definitely my favorite there we go hemet the jungle hunter not the legendary we really wanted to see here, but we will definitely take it. So that's very surprising. I thought my pity timer was actually quite a bit higher. We're very happy with that. Angoro was definitely some of the, the best meta, I think, that we experienced in this entire year of the Mammoth in terms of balance. Whenever you saw a class, you weren't sure what type of archetype you were going to run into, whether it was going to be a pirate warrior or a quest warrior. When you saw different types of priests, you weren't sure what exactly was going on. I thought it was really, really great. 
the whole elemental uh, family, uh, elemental tribe, I guess more accurately. People like to refer to it that way. Uh, the elemental tribe was really, really cool when it first came out and lots of experimentation. Charge Devil Sword. I don't think I have that one, so maybe we can do Charge Devil Sword Priest. I know people have been a little upset with some of the big priests that I've been playing, but oh well. At least it's off meta. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with playing strong meta decks. And we're really powering through this, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Ooh, and we get another elemental, so that's okay for some nice free disenchanting. Maybe if the Radiant Elementals were golden, we could think about keeping them. But for right now, this is all looking like dust. And that was five or six epics, plus one legendary from our Mammoth Bundle. And I would say slightly above average. For what I was expecting. Let's go ahead and look at the collection. This is now, let's be cl to clarify, this is post nerf. So that's why I disenchanted everything instantly. Um, and then we look at all the duplicates we have. Let's go take a look. So we had three epic duplicates, a whole lot of commons, and then 33 rares, which is pretty good. So for our purchase, we effectively got, you know, this is actually a little bit low on duplicate. This is, yeah, this is very much actually low on duplicate dust, what I would have expected from 30 packs. But that's still okay, because there were a lot of epics that I'm going to have no problem disenchanting. So this number is going to go up probably, there's at least three or four epics there that I'm going to also disenchant. So we can go ahead and just hit this disenchant right now, all of the extra cards. Whoops, this is actually the button that we have to hit. Well played myself. We'll come on out of crafting, and then we'll take a look at what's actually new. Branching Paths, this is definitely played in a lot of Druid right now, so we might not disenchant that one right away. Couple Goldens, these are probably going to turn into dust. They're rares, and they're just extra dust for us, and that makes us happy. Unwilling Sacrifice, we can go ahead and disenchant that one right away. We're not even going to wait. Reckless Flurry, spend, uh, spend all your armor. I, I have seen this card before, but I had to reread it here. Um, I'm not really in, into warrior right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take the hundred dust. Gonna pump ourselves up a little. Sleepy dragon. Do we like sleepy dragon? I love sleepy dragon. I love the idea of sleepy dragon. A big taunt. It has Yasera's stats, except not anywhere near Yasera. Thank you for the dust, friend. And that is going to be it for this mammoth bundle pack opening. Overall, I think we did very reasonably well on our legendary count because I think our pity timers were basically all at the beginning so that was very lucky we actually got quite a few epics that we just got to see there and slightly low actually on the duplication disenchanting dust but I think we kind of got balanced out because of the epics that we were able to get there that's going to be it for today everyone I will be back streaming nice and soon hopefully Thursday and or Friday right here stay safe be good to each other I'll see you next time